Hey guys, JJ here to give you another free play for tomorrow, uh, April 10th. Angels vs. Brewers, games uh, later, I believe it's at 10 o'clock at night Eastern. Uh, seeing the Angels at plus 110 right now, the total is 8.5 with a little extra juice uh, in favor of the over. Uh, it's Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers, it's Felix Pena for the Angels. Basically, uh, two borderline bullpen guys. Uh, going at it, and I know they both can climb to 100 pitches, but as of last year, they were more or less some bullpen guys. Pena had a little more experience coming out of, uh, as a starter, um, starting a bunch of games for the Angels late in the year last year. Now they have him starting again, but he usually has issues getting through five, and, and so does Woodruff. Now, this is the public league of Brewers uh, going against the Angels, who you know everyone basically thinks suck outs outside of uh, or sucks outside of Mike Trout uh, with, within that lineup. Now, there is some truth to this, but, um, man, when you unravel this onion for this game, uh, you can really tell that the Angels are playing really good baseball right now. Uh, winners of four straight, and as of the time of this recording, they are up six to three against the Brewers. Uh, despite you know Harvey trying his hardest uh, to give away the game. Uh, now I gave away the Angels plus one twenty in that game uh, on my Twitter just because I thought felt it was a good value play. Uh, if you're not following um, my account on Twitter, that's at Uncle Dunkel with uh, threes for the E's. Uh, if you're not following that account, it's in the description as well if you, if you uh, want to see it, uh, to be able to click on it and, and follow me there. Um, I get free picks there often, especially if I don't do a video on the channel here. I typically give one free pick there. Um, now, if the Angels hold on and win this, um, it will be their fifth straight win, um, and they'll have, the, they'll have the opportunity to take the brooms out tomorrow against the Brewers uh, for this three-game series. Now, the public does this all the time. They love a team. They won't even think to look at how well or not they're playing before the game starts. Um, in MLB, you cannot big name team hunt. Uh, and here's what I mean. But most look at, most people look at a slate, okay, and they look at the favorites, right? Uh, typically favorites that maybe aren't too big, maybe. Maybe you're somebody who loves to bet big favorites, whatever. You look at favorites you like, and most people don't even enter the entertain the idea of finding value underdogs. Uh, with that said, you can also find value in favorites as well, uh, but most don't do that either. Uh, most just go after the big pitchers for the day, whoever those are, They'll typically lay them for the lay a half run for the first half of the game, or maybe they'll just play the big pitcher for the for the day, or they just more or less want the big market teams, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Dodgers. In this case, the Brewers have kind of become that with with how you know bulky their lineup is uh, as well. You know, and of course, like I said, the, the big pitcher names like like a Degrom, a Scherzer, you know, those are always going to attract a ton of attention. And I challenge you all to question yourself on Major League Baseball bets beyond the idea of a pitcher or a big market team. Because um, the media talks about them all the time, and you know that's ultimately all you're hearing. Always say to yourself, the numbers and the prices, do they make sense or does it make sense? Is there value in those numbers? Um, remove the idea or the vocabulary from you know yourself of, I know the Yankees are going to beat the Red Sox tonight. You know, change that vocabulary to, I think the Yankees at minus one twenty five are a good play against the Red Sox because of X Y Z. I think if the Yankees go from 125 to minus 140, at minus 140, they are no longer a good play because X, Y, Z. I think the Red Sox versus the Yankees, if the Red Sox moved up to plus 125 as an underdog, they become a good play because X, Y, Z. You need to put all the all the explanations and all the all the numbers and and all the, the basically the entire handicapping process in front of you. Whether you say it to yourself out loud, whether you rehearse it like a song. I mean, that's a little little obnoxious. But if you write it down or have the numbers in front of you, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you to get those in front of you and those numbers and 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 remembered, and you'll notice things as you go about in your research that you'll see things that maybe you didn't see before. Like maybe you're looking at a game and you're like, oh, you know, Justin Verlander at home against the Yankees is a must play. You know, lock it in. I'll play him for the first half. I'll play him for the game. But then if you look at the numbers, you realize, hey, look, the Yankee sticks are really doing well right now. They're really swinging the bat well. They might have some injuries, but they are hitting the ball pretty well. Um, hmm. Is it really worth it to lay half a run despite the Yankees having Tanaka going up against him? I mean, Tanaka's been pretty good to start the year. Do I really want to lay, lay 150 for the first half or 160 for the game or run line for the game? You know, question yourself on the numbers portion. It's the most important part, guys. You know, um, ultimately, you guys see what I'm getting at. I want you all to break bad habits, make some paradigm shifts within your perceptions and process so that reality, you know, ultimately becomes you winning versus you losing. Okay, now anyway, I know I went a little bit on a tangent there or a tangent there. But uh, anyway, back to this game. So Angels are plus 110. Um, 
and I find them as a big value play here. Now, whether or not whether or not the Angels win or lose tonight, whether they hold hold this lead off and win or whatever, to me is irrelevant. I bet them, and I hope they hold on hold on to the win, uh, especially since they were underdog. But we're betting a value price here. We bet a value price there right today, and we're going to do this again tomorrow. Uh, the, the number is not as good, but again, the matchup, the pitching matchup, isn't as advantageous for the Brewers in this in this game. Now, the Brewers send out Brandon Woodruff here, uh, who isn't quite as bad as his ERA indicates, but he has had a somewhat of a rough start to the year. The Angels' bats aren't all that scary collectively by any means, but they are doing enough to win games, and they are playing at home. Uh, the Angels send out Felix Pena. Uh, who isn't anything to drool over, uh, but he's pitched many games for the Angels down the stretch of last year. Held a sub 3.5 ERA for the last for his last like you know six or seven starts. Uh, he's off to an average start this year at best. But again, uh, the pitcher on the other side in, in Woodruff is not really all that great either. Uh, we have a game being played a few hours later than Milwaukee's accustomed to being on the West Coast. A pitching matchup which is more or less equal. The bats certainly lean in favor of the Brewers, uh, but the Angels are swinging the sticks really well right now. Um, and the Angels are at home, so that helps. I have this game as a pick 'em, uh, or maybe minus 105, uh, you know, where the Brewers would be minus 115. Um, or, I mean, a 110 on both sides, I apologize. Um, so the fact that we're getting plus 110 here um, makes it favorable. Now, you may wait uh, a little while for the, the Brewers truthers to come out and, and bring this price even further in favor of the Angels. But, um, you know, again, we're looking for value in prices. I have plus 110 as value. You might be able to get a better price. You can wait on that as well. Uh, but, again, I'm going to be betting the Angels again tomorrow. Again, you ride streaks in baseball. The Angels are playing really well. Whether they win or lose tonight doesn't matter. Uh, they are hitting well. They are finding ways to win games um, early, late. And, uh, you know, we're going to ride that streak here. Again, getting dog money, value play. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you found it somewhat informative. I, I went off a little bit on a tangent on the, on the process stuff for you guys. I just want you guys to all be better. Uh, but, again, this is going to be Angels. Uh, April uh, Wednesday, April 10th, Angels plus 110 versus the Brewers, Felix Pena versus Brandon Woodruff. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the channel, please give it a thumbs up. Drop any comments below with any games you might like for tomorrow. No, this is a big slate. I gave you another game earlier in a different video. Uh, so, But all in all, I want to thank you guys for your loyalty, staying true to the channel. Drop some comments below on what you, what you thought about it and maybe some games you like for tomorrow. Uh, and I will uh, be back for you guys soon.